Suede is that material that we get the most questions about. You're gonna show us the Jason Mark way of taking care of suede. Okay, so first that we've taken out the laces. Yeah. Now you're gonna dry brush the shoe. Yeah. In terms of like how much force you put on it, you can actually be quite vigorous with the suede brush. Okay. That's because the dense bristles allow you to like deeply brush out all the surface dirt. You know, a lot of the dirt just sits on the surface that causes decoloration. Okay. But it's temporary decoloration. So then um, the next thing I'd go for would be the crepe rubber. So this is just to try and see how much of the dirt I can take off without having to wet the suede first. The next step after using that, I'd use a dry brush again just to brush the nap back out mm -hmm. to see how much actually dirt's left on the shoe. As you can see from the beginning till now, over the dark areas are just more here where it requires a deep clean and some around the ankle area and around the toe box as well where it creases. What I always try and put across is always try and clean the sole first. Okay. So I'd go in with the standard brush and then for the upper, I'd be using the premium brush tray after that. And of course, my trusty, handy microfiber towels. Now, is there anything we should know before you're putting that water on? Not to over wet the material. Okay. Okay. So how I've repeated myself several times about shaking the brush off, that will come as like a major, major part of cleaning suede thoroughly without damaging or over wetting the material. So I'm going to go ahead and smash the sole out quickly with the standard brush and the solution. As always, dab the brush into the water, shake it off, four to five drops. Back in again, shake it off. So always remember that suede is a pigment dyed material. So it being a pigment dyed material means there will be always a chance of color loss in the process, but you can control how much color loss happens by how wet the brush is in general. So uh, the sole's whacked out quickly. Now I'm gonna go straight in for the suede. So this is to deep clean the suede. Uh, same again, dry brush. So this, this, is, this, is, this is the moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. So how thorough I've shaked it is you just make sure you tip it upside down, no drops on the hand, your hand's dry. Yeah, but you know the bristles are damp. Yeah, and then put a few drops on. Dab it back into the water. And yeah, again, shake it off really thoroughly. So. There's literally hardly any water on that brush. Yeah. Yeah, again, it's not dripping. Yep. So go straight for the areas where you want to clean, the darker area here. So I'm just going to go in. So what I recommend as well, even though the whole shoe is one whole color, uh, it's all the same color all the way around. But do it section by section, just so that you make sure that the foam doesn't inset back into okay. the material. And this is where the microfiber tile comes in again. So just retrace where you've basically scrubbed up with the premium brush. Just to try and literally absorb and attract as much dirt as possible. Please do bear in mind that sometimes it might take more than one go mm -hmm. in one sitting. So you see from like how much I, sh I shook off the brush, mm -hmm. You see barely any pink pigment came off on the towel. And just literally repeat your way through. If you feel like the foam is dying out a little bit and there's not much foam going on here, literally just lightly dab it back into the water, run it through. There should be good enough solution in the brush still, just not enough water. And just go back in again and just starts foaming up. This way you can use the solution very efficiently and not overusing the solution in general will kind of make your process a lot easier. Obviously over the areas which are slightly darker, just scrub it a little harder and then straight away retrace it again with a microfiber towel. So after like solid cleaning, you know, after the suede has hit a good amount of moisture, um, what the microfiber towel will then do is literally absorb as much as possible. And then once you've done that, what I personally advise you to do is let the shoe dry for at least four to five hours. If you can wait 24 hours to make sure that the suede is thoroughly, thoroughly dry. What you'll probably find most times is the suede feels a bit hard. So once it's thoroughly, thoroughly dry, last but not least, don't remember to go and refer back to this suede kit. 
So what you would do is literally go over the areas where it feels hard and then wherever after you see the nap is coming back, after it's thoroughly dry, then you can use the crepe rubber to go over the areas to literally pull the nap back up as well. Okay. So you can see instantaneously the texture comes back and then alternate between that and the brush and you literally get the fluffiness back. And this works best after you let the shoe dry thoroughly, like for proper, proper, proper drying. Um, and then the final results will be a clean suede pair of shoes without any damaged material. I hope this has been a good guide for you watching at home. If you need any more tips, come into the Jason Mark store. These guys are happy to help you out and there's more information on the website as well. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan, AKA Morpram. This is my boy, Jeff. See you soon.